Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Microsoft Word lets you insert charts into your documents. These charts can add interest and convey information to the reader in a dynamic way to help you create a more vibrant document. To insert a chart from scratch, click the Insert tab in the ribbon. Then click the Chart button in the Illustrations button group to open the Insert Chart dialog box. This dialog box lists 17 different chart categories at its left side. Click a category to see the choices in that category, then appear to the right. Then click the specific chart type choice in the list to the right, and then click the OK button to insert the selected type of chart. Word then inserts the selected chart and displays its source data in an Excel worksheet within Word. This worksheet contains some sample data by default. To enter the data for the chart, simply replace this sample data with your own. Then close the Excel worksheet to show your data within the chart. When you select a chart, Word displays either the Chart Design and Format Contextual tabs or the Design and Format tabs of a Chart Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon depending on your office version. You can use the command buttons on these contextual tabs to edit and format the chart as you would in Excel. In addition to the contextual tabs you see when you select a chart, three or four small buttons also appear to the right of the chart. Clicking any of these buttons opens a side menu of options. The first button is the Layout Options button. You can click this button to see a pop-up menu that lets you control the chart's text wrapping. To set the chart's text wrapping, choose a preset option from the With Text Wrapping section. You can use the Move with Text or Fix Position on Page option button to set either option after choosing a text wrapping style. You can click the See More link at the bottom of the side menu to open the Layout dialog box. You can use the controls on the Position, Text Wrapping, and Size tabs to make any changes you want. This dialog box gives you complete control over how your chart fits into your document. Then click the OK button to save your changes and close it. To add or remove chart elements, like the chart title or legend, Click the Chart Elements button. Then check a checkbox to add that element to your chart or uncheck a checkbox to remove that element from your chart. Clicking the Chart Styles button opens a menu that lets you adjust the chart's color and style by using the labeled tabs and options. The Style tab contains preset chart style options. You can click any style to apply it to your chart. You can click the Color tab to display a palette of colors you can click to apply them to your chart. If available for your selected chart type, then clicking the Chart Filters button lets you use the Values, and Names tabs on the menu that then appears to choose what is shown or hidden in your chart. You can click the Select Data link to open the Excel worksheet where you can edit the chart's data and the Select Data Source dialog box where you can change which cells are selected as the chart's data source in the Excel worksheet if needed. Note that not all chart types have the Chart Filters button. Some charts may not contain data that can be filtered. For example, the tree map chart type is simply a branched chart of information with no data to filter. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.